Good morning, John. It's been a long couple of days, and I don't think anyone can deny that, and the problem is that it's not gonna stop being long days for quite a while. So this video is gonna have to go ahead and come to you in four parts. And I'm gonna tell you what those parts are now so that I don't forget, because I always forget what the parts are. Part one is balloons, part two is me being weird to keep you entertained because there's all these parts, part three is talking about the Project for Awesome, and part four is talking about punishments. So, part one, balloons! First, I want to say that we falsely accused MIT of planting a fake balloon that was, in fact, not MIT. It was another of the many competing teams. Sorry, MIT. But that doesn't mean that you didn't do certain dirty things. We're just not going to talk about that. Because we did dirty things too. The fact of the matter is, I think that DARPA wanted to learn a lot of things from this project. They wanted to see how easy it could be to rapidly mobilize a group of people to do a specific task. And whether that task is to find red balloons, or find a missing child, or blow up strategic targets, all of that is very interesting to the military. But John, it became very clear to me as I was doing the red balloon thing, that this was very similar to being a resistance fighter. We were taking an intelligence from an intelligence network, and then dispatching real people in our network to go confirm that intelligence, and it seems to be very clear that if I was a member of the Rebellion in the Star Wars universe, the Empire would be not a big fan of that ability. It also seems clear to me that I would like my government to know how to anticipate and deal with groups of people who want to do this in order to hurt people. And I also want them to have a good idea of how to disrupt that. So it's not just finding the balloons that's interesting, it's also learning how to disrupt the intelligence network that's interesting. And that's what the nerd fighters were doing, and that's what MIT was doing. And that's what a lot of the other groups were doing. So there's a lot of really interesting things going on. And let's be honest, all is fair in love, war, and balloon challenges. I think that MIT did a fantastic job, and I know that there are MIT students and alumni among Nerdfighteria, and we love all of you! Nerds can't be turning on other nerds here. It was a game, and it was well played! And as I said on Twitter, we may have only found 9 out of the 10 balloons in the real world, but Nerdfighteria, you found all of the balloons in my heart. Thing number two, me being weird. This is the lamest thing in the world to be excited about. It's my pill container. It helps me remember when to take my pills. Oh, this time of year, I always feel the same. How I wish that I had more time to play video games. Thing number three, the project for awesome. December 17th is getting closer and closer, my friends. In fact, I think that it's December 8th right now, which means that it's less than 10 days away. Well, that's me doing math right there. If you don't know what the project for awesome is, very basically, it's a day in which all of YouTube gets together and promotes charities with their videos. And then on that day, December 17th, everyone tries to use the same thumbnail in their video. And then a giant team of thousands and thousands of people get together and promote all of those videos in all of the ways that they can. And basically, they fool YouTube's algorithms by commenting and watching and favoriting and rating all of those videos. And it's a very fun way to spend a Thursday. Of course, this is just a quick introduction to the Project for Awesome's Awesome this year. If you would like to know more, please go to nerdfighters.com right now. Pause the video. Go right now and put in your email address to the Project for Awesome mailing list. The little form thing is on the top left hand side of the page and it's impossible to miss. All you have to do is put your name and email address in there. And I promise, 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 as always, to never send you anything to do with anything except for the Project for Awesome. So, pause the video right now and go do that. And then unpause me. Thing number four, punishments. So by now you all know that I'm going to have to spend 15 hours inside of a target. John's punishment, on the other hand, is still up in the air and I'm kind of at a loss. One thing that I was thinking he could do is maybe watch every single thing that's on Vlogbrothers in order without sleeping. Which I think would take like 26 hours. But if you, the denizens of Nerdfighteria, have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Obviously I am now out of time, so John, you will see me tomorrow with some very exciting news.